Hi everyone, it's Damaris. I hope you're all doing good today. Thanks for watching. Um, I decided to record myself creating a traveler's notebook insert based or inspired by the 12 by 12 layout that I created with the recent Felicity Jane kit. And so that's what this project is about today. I'm starting off with my HP sprocket, printing off two photos um, that I took one day at work back in August. And as those are printing, I'm looking through my bucket of goodies and I'm trying to find some of those leftover pieces from that Hannah collection um, by Felicity Jane. And I had pre-cut that one scalloped edge as you can see there that's going to be placed at the very top and at this point i'm looking back at that layout because i want to remember um, the items i use but i also want to think about or start thinking about the pieces that i'm going to be pulling out to add to the insert starting off by folding the edges of that traveler's notebook border and I'm going to pull out a corner rounder punch now this punch does not line up with this border edge with the roundness of this particular insert which by the way is also by Felicity Jane um, but I figured it's better than trying to struggle to <laughs> turn those corners um, with a book that's halfway full and so I do have a little bit of snipping to do here but it's not as much as if I had left those completely square and once again I'm cutting off the borders or the rounded edges at the very top of the scallop strip of paper I'm pulling out some red tape because I want to adhere this down to um, where it needs to go on my insert that way I can then um, dig for my dimensionals and add that underneath the scallop because on the original layout um, there is a little bit of a lift under that scalloped edge kind of making it look like a, a fun little awning <clears throat> excuse me um, so at this point, I am looking for some Stampin' Up! And this strip that you see of dimensionals, this is the last bit I have of it on this particular desk. My other desk, I may have more. Um, so if anybody out there is a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and um, you have dimensionals to sell, I'd be happy to purchase them from you. Just send me a message. Um, so what I did to that top border was I glued down the edges once I've placed those dimensionals in the center of the scalloped awning. I glued down the very edges um, so that way it's not all lifted up. Here I've pulled out one of the older Felicity Jane stamp sets. This one is from the Reagan collection. Don't really remember the month it came out, and I'm not sure if there are any extras on the website, but it doesn't hurt to look. If you go to FelicityJane.com, um, you can browse what's there. And so at this point, I'd like to build my own ticket. The kit, the Hannah kit did come with a set of really cute tickets. Um, but because I'm scaling down this exact layout to fit a TN size, I didn't really want to use the larger ticket, so I decided I'm going to create my own. And I pulled out the ink, the ink spot, I call it. It's a one inch ink spot. And the one I'm using is by Lawn Fawn. It's a great color. And if you give me a moment, I can pull out my... It's called Manatee, M-A-N-A-T-E-E. -E. That is the dye ink from Lawn Fawn that I'm using here for that gray color. And so I've pulled that out, I've created my ticket background, and then I realized that there is a strip of pattern paper just sitting on my 
uh, desk that I cut off from that bottom border strip. And so I decided I'm gonna make that into a ticket also. And it's the same color as everything in the layout, so I might as well use that strip of paper. And so that's what I've done. Here I brought in a Stampin' Up! Ticket Corner Punch. And now I'm bringing in an EK Success Ticket Punch. This one is on back order on Amazon. Um, but if you order it, you just may get it within a month or two. Okay, so I used that uh, second ticket punch on the pink strip because I wanted to create those little ridges since this was just a bare square piece of scrap paper and it didn't have a ticket shape on it. And so I've decided that I'm going to use the Hannah stamp set that came with the Hannah kit. And um, the quote that I've pulled out here is by Nelson Mandela and it says, may your choices reflect your hopes, not your fears. And so this is um, a layout based on these photos that I took during work. These are some Snapchat photos. And um, one thing you don't know about me is that I'm really, really, <laughs> I'm really shy. Um, I'm pretty insecure. And the fact that I conduct online webinars for complete strangers every day is pretty amazing. <laughs> um, it is for a company that um, processes payroll, they do HR, they do benefits. I mean, it's a complete all-in-one shop. And so what I do is I show them the technology and I answer questions. And I came from no knowledge, no background. So I honestly give the glory to God that I'm still there. It's, I think it's been three or four years now. And so this is just a meaningful quote that will help me remember that um, I don't have to fear what I do because I, I have God on my side. And while I'm troubleshooting through this um, tiny attacher issue that I'm having, <laughs> um, I'd like to remind you that this is a new channel and um, I'm really appreciative of the followers that I have so far. I'd like to build it up. I'd like to bring in some old followers from my old channel, but I'd like some new ones too. So if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, um, feel free to do so now. So what I've done is I have attached the two tickets with the tiny attacher, which in essence, it's just a small little tiny staple. And um, now I'm about to layer out my sticky back photos and making sure and I accidentally printed the same photo which is kind of funny but it, it kind of looks like I did it on purpose really <laughs> um, and so at this point I'm starting to fussy cut some flowers and I've decided I'm gonna leave that portion out and continue with um, looking for some ephemera from that Hannah collection and I found a burgundy uh, label. Here I'm adding my dash lines at the bottom border prior to adding my label. The tickets, I've placed them on dimensionals and I've added it at the bottom of my two photos. And here's a secret tip that I don't really share often when it comes to clusters or um, I guess that's what people call it clusters. I like to create a cluster where the main focus meets another main focus. Does that make sense? So for example, if I had not chosen two photos, let's say if it was one photo and maybe one journal card, where the photo meets the journal card, I start building my clusters in that particular edge or corner. Does that make sense? So it kind of forms a nice little triangle burst. And that's that's kind of how I've always done it. I've never really verbalized it just because I don't really think through these things. But now that I'm 
conducting some process videos for you guys, I figured I would share my secrets. <laughs> um, so I've stamped out from the Hannah. Actually, it's not the Hannah. We went back to the Reagan stamp set, which was the ticket stamp set. A little phrase that says, living my best life. And I stamped it onto that label. It kind of smudged. And so what I was doing there with some scratch paper was rubbing the excess off of the label because it's um, got a glossy sheen to it. So it was a little smudgy. And then I went over it with pen and once again went over with the scratch paper to remove the excess ink that the pen left over just in case. I didn't want to double smudge it. So I'm pulling out my Felicity Jane roller stamp and this is um a a uh, fun roller it's the first one for felicity jane i actually forgot the date of this uh photo and so i just entered august one heart 2018 because i i knew it was the week of but i didn't know the date so i pulled out some of those label um stickers that i found in my stash and I'm writing in week 34. This is a project that I started with Paper Issues, 52 favorites of the year, and we're on week 42, and I'm way behind. So this is it, you guys. This is the end of my um, share, my Traveler's Notebook share. I copied myself, so we can call this a scrap lift. And pretty soon you'll see some close-ups. Thank you so, so much for taking the time out today to join me. I hope you'll come back again. And remember, do not forget to subscribe. Thanks, you guys. Have a good day.